thought we'd start another video today and maybe we can do some more flowers. Maybe we can do daisies. I chose daisies because daisies come in, there's such a variety of daisies. Some of the petals are single petals. Some of the petals are multiple petals. Some centers are raised, some are flat. And since there's such a variety of daisies, um, they're pretty fun to draw. And then they're also fun, uh, easy to draw. So I've kind of drawn, I, I've pulled up this daisy mix. This is a seed mix from a, a seed company. And you can see, see this curved, very short petals here, this big center. And then you look here and they're long and they're curved on the end, but they're, they're there's a whole variety of them. They're not just one layer there. Now look at these. These are so interesting. The center, and then they've got a different color. And then it appears to me that the end of the flowers are almost straight off. So that's very different than this daisy, very different than the curved daisy. Look at this one where the petals are so thin that hardly even looks like the one next to it, but they're both daisies. And then this one where it's not white, it's not yellow, this one's purple. This one's kind of a peachy, orangey yellow color. And so you really can't go wrong. Now sometimes, and I, I didn't see it in this seed mix, but sometimes, uh, the, well, this is almost one here, but Echinacea is a, a type of a flower, which is a daisy in the daisy family and its petals are down. If you can see right here, I've drawn one, but then its center is up. So the petals kind of go down from the center. So how fun is this? We can almost make up the flower that we want and put it in the daisy family. So let's just put a little bit of color to some of these daisies that I've drawn, drawn pre-drawn. I'm gonna put some, oh, I don't have my, there's enough water in my spray. Oh, there it is. Good for it. That's good. Um, what was I going to say? I oh, can't remember what I was going to say. So I'm going to put some of the center in some of these daisies. The hard thing for me to do when I put color into things with you is they take so long to dry and we can't really progress until we've kind of done their drawing. So I've put in yellow and now I'm at adding a little brighter, almost an orange, um, to the center so that hopefully we can get some of these centers drawn and then they'll dry and we can come back in and, and do some of the petals. Gonna just do a little bit darker on this one because his, his the center point is or the center of the flower is a little raised. This one was a lot raised because it's just on a curve. This one too is a little bit raised. So we'll go ahead and give that some color. Let's give this one some color. And this one is one of these that has more of a brown center than the yellow. So let's go ahead and pull some darker colors to put in here as, as its center. Put some lotion on my hands before I started doing this. And sometimes that puts a little bit of oil on my paper, just transfers over on, automatically. And then it it's harder to be able to put your paints. The paper doesn't adhere to your, or the paint doesn't adhere to your papers very well. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and start. Let's go back. Let's go to this purple one. Let's go ahead and just do a lot of, add a lot of purple to that. And I think we'll want to do several shades, but let's just start with the, let's do the whole flower with a lavender. And we can come back in and add a couple more 
couple more passes on it with a little variety of color. Whoops, I touched the center. And that's one of the wonderful things about watercolors is that they bleed and that's just really quite beautiful. And you can't always control where the water and the paint, the color's gonna go. But sometimes that's frustrating because it's not what you wanted. Okay, so we're gonna let this purple one try to dry just a little bit and let's move on to let's move on to this one and you can see we can choose yellow pink an orange and I think we've got a lot of the yellow so I'm gonna go ahead and do kind of a, a, a choose a pink one pinkish one and we're gonna go right there so it looks to me like we can add our pink and then we can come back in and it looks like there's a little yellow right up there by the center but we can get that added after we've got some of this beautiful pink color in there we've had rain and rain and more rain and more rain today it's just been such a lovely day it's been so hot and then this rain has cooled us right back to spring again. And it's just been lovely. We had rain yesterday too, but not nearly as much as today. We've had a lot of rain today. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry a little bit and let's move on. Now this one kind of was gonna give us this, where it's got the orange, then the yellow, multiple leaves here it looks like they're not just next to each other they're under and on top of each other and we can create that in just a little bit too I'm gonna to start with maybe their furthest color and we could add that to all of the see I've got that problem with my the paper doesn't want to take the paint because of my lotion that I put on it. So my paper's dry. I always forget to mention that to you guys, but that's almost, most of the time I'm starting with dry paper. And if I don't start with dry paper, then I think that's when I'll mention it to you. I'm going to bring in just a little bit of kind of an orange here that we can put here and it'll bleed out just a little bit. I'm sure that'll look just really pretty. And that will be our start of getting a little bit of that out on our petals. Now I can kind of take my brush and bring it down the petal just a little bit more. And we can come back in and accentuate that a little bit too. Okay, so we've got that one. Now let's go to, this one's the Echinacea, and I really didn't, this seed packet that I pulled here for pictures didn't really have Echinacea on it, but Echinacea can be a variety of colors too, and I'm gonna go ahead and make this one in our pink, kind of a, a pinkish color. a problem with my I'm gonna have to remember not to put lotion on before I start these because it looks like it causes a, a real problem with the paint adhering or not I really like to draw echinacea because you can just kind of dance your little pen around and and all of a sudden you're done there I'm gonna add just a little bit of the same color, which is quite like the one I used there, but a little different. And we can start to create, well, that one doesn't have quite as much ring as some of the others, but that'll be a good start. Okay, now if we come down to our yellow one, we're gonna have yellow on yellow. so. We've got our yellow center, but 
in this yellow, I can see a little orange, I can see yellow, and I can see green. So I'm going to start it with just a little different color, and then we can come back in on top. So this is, I actually don't know the name of the color, it's a light green. And I want that to, dr to dry, and then we'll come back in and we'll put a little bit of orange and more yellow. We might be able to bleed it in here. Let's just look for a minute. Just up on our, the middle part of the, the center of the daisy it has quite a bit of color, variety of colors, and we just had it right then just be a, just had yellow in it so I've added a little bit of brown to that and I'm mopping up just a little bit as it started bleeding out okay so we've kind of added our beginning color to that one let's come back to this one and just try let me just try to see which one I was oh whoops I was doing here I think this was just a Shasta daisy which just is white white it's very hard to do white, white. So the way we're gonna try to do it is we're going to put a little bit of blue in our background um, versus putting color on our daisy. Right now we're gonna just put a little color behind our daisy and then come back in and see what colors we wanna put in our daisy. Sometimes daisies, um, I've got these triangle brushes which are really fun because they have a, a very point on the end, but they can also create a lovely line or quite a, they do really well in bringing a light color to the backgrounds. So they can carry, it's a big enough brush that it can get enough water in it that the colors can be quite diluted and still come out on our paper. So that's kind of a nice one. Now I don't like it to look, you know, just exactly like our petals. So I'm gonna now blend it out just a little bit and I can turn my paper back around and I think my hand can do that without getting on some of these other. So I'm just gonna bring, just to spread it out just a little bit because I don't want it to look like I'm just doing a little bit of following the daisy so much. It's more of a background than following the pattern of the petals exactly. But you can see right there by having the background then it brings up the white petals and then as that dries we're going to go ahead and put some pinks and some blues, uh, maybe just a little bit of yellow on our petals to, to create that white. Now I'm looking at this one here and keep doing that let's see I'm thinking that one is more along this line where the the petals are a little more pointed there's more petals than just one layer and again it's white um, but there's you can see some purple and blue in here quite a bit in the sh shaded area so let me go ahead and I'm going to give this one a background. We're going to give it just a, a little darker than our other background. And actually, I really shouldn't come in with blue because blue is what we're going to use to make the white there. But this will just be light, light. Maybe I can add a little purple here. Can spread it out. I thought it'd be fun to, guys, we did the, the um, ladybugs and the bees. I thought it'd be fun to come back in and maybe put the, some more ladybugs on things. So that'll be another video I'll have to bring out. Okay, that gives us a background. And it's not, it, it's more like I like where it's not just right following the petals. It kind of 
spreads out a little bit. So we'll kind of wait on that one. Let's come back into these centers and see what we can do about creating a little dimension here on the centers. This center, we had it as being yellow, but it's really, it's got a lot of purple in it. It's got some brown. Oh, there's pink in here too, so let's did you see there was this line out here for the center and then I created another line because you can see the side of the center right here and so that is creating the side of the center um, I'm gonna add just a little bit of pink to this and see if this is a good time to add it or if we might have to wait. I think it's pretty good. So I think most of you guys are done with your school. Well, I don't know, Ryan and Ryan and Bennett, you still might be in school up in Oregon. But the Utah kids are pretty sure that they're all done with their school. So they're starting their summers we're still kind of housebound here in Utah. But that's kind of become habit now. It's not as hard. And we can go out. And when we go out, we just have to wear masks. Okay, I'm going to let that dry a little bit so we can come back to that. I'm kind of going to come in now. Maybe very much like this one, this guy. Because he is high, sometimes we like to give him a little bit of definition on his center. Whoops. Sometimes when I mop up the water for you guys, if I was painting and I was just had enough time to let it let them dry I wouldn't be mopping it up as much I would just be letting it dry but I mop it so that I can move on when we're doing these videos just so you know on your own papers that it might not be necessary as necessary to mop it as much as I do Come back in our on our purple guy. Oops. Let's give this some. So when you come down and you look at these, you can see there's a lot more color in here. There's kind of green in the center, and then you can see some orange, brown around there and then the petals they're lavender but you can also see some pink there and so some in some of the places where the petals are are more dense meaning they have more than one petal on top of each other i think that creates some of your color your deeper color I'm just giving that a little bit of texture so that it doesn't look just exactly round. You can see there's kind of, um, it's not a flat surface for sure. Okay, let's come into this guy. We're still waiting on these looks like now we're waiting on those so we'll move up here after let's come to this guy we we, we did a little bit of yellow or um, kind of a light green on on it. I'm gonna come back in and see if we can't add just a little bit more brightness to it moving into the has a little green tint also let's see what we can do about maybe 
too wet to work with it now. Okay, I'm going to leave this one. Okay, I'm going to turn my paper so that my left hand won't have to go into the wet, the wet ones we have here. And let's just see what we can do to create our daisies where they're mostly white petals. But sometimes you've got to bring in other colors to help that white stand out. So I've given it just a little bit of yellow there. We'll let that dry and then we'll bring in just a little bit of pink. Um, and this guy I'm gonna bring in a little bit of blue on this flat one. Now this flat one, yeah, where's some of these here? Got a lot of water on it, which is good because I don't want a dark blue, but I don't want it to take forever to dry either. helping it stand out just a little bit and then we'll come back in and we'll give it a little bit of pink really liked yeah there we go really like when we can add some and it's just not too noticeable there we go okay we're gonna let that dry and then we'll come back in Let's turn it, let's turn it right side and just see. Oh wow, see how it's just kind of accentuated the white petals, but we actually were painting with blue. So that's, that's lovely. Now, which one was this one? It had the, oh, I think it's down here. It's got the pointed petals and I'm gonna come back in with just a light light lavender. I can see some lavender on these petals. And it looks like the petals, there's more petals than than I had put. I just kind of have a single layer, but this looks like they are mostly single, but there are some little bit of double petals there. So sometimes the darker color would be where there's a petal under it, then that petal would be darker than the one on top. That didn't really show much. Let's add just a, I think I'm gonna get just a little bit of blue and bring it just down here at the base. See what we can, there we go. See, that's accentuating it and bringing bringing our color out just a little bit. I'm gonna bring some of that over here. Oops, to this, the base right here of those. Not all the way around, but what a good portion. I'm gonna bring some of that along our petals here. So I Petals are standing out now just a little bit because we're kind of following the outer line, not really adding stuff to the inner part of it, but following the outer line. I'm going to go ahead and try to bring a little bit of the background a little darker here, and we're going to have to wait on this one. But I do think my water's not very clear need to change my water. I do think I see some green in here. So I'm gonna bring just a little bit of green. And the center is not flat, there's a texture to it, so we're gonna have to come back in on that. But this is a good start. Maybe we were kind of ambitious to get them all going at once. But let's see what we can do here on this this one bringing this one over see if we can kind of get 
just a little more depth here. I won't hesitate to bring some of these. Just a little bit of color going there for its center. This one was this, and, and actually that has a nice yellow center too. Or uh, green, green, excuse me. A little bit of green to it. Let's see if that dries as light as we want. I really didn't want a lot of green there, but let's see if that doesn't dry a little bit lighter. So I'm going to try to come along the line of some of these daisy petals. Give it another, I like lots of color, so we'll come back in and just add color because it just defines it. Even though you're not thinking you see that color there, by adding the color, it, it gives it a lot, a lot of definition, meaning it makes it stand out more, a bit more realistic, I guess, might be how to say it. All right, we're gonna have to wait on that. I'm gonna come back in. What, oh, I have a little bit of purple. I don't mind having that over here, too. And I don't mind having that up on that center. I'll bring it. There we go. Like that. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna bring a little bit of that lovely color here, since it dried, and I think it needs to be a little darker. Where are we? This guy, right here. And you might be seeing more orange as I've gotten kind of some purple. Okay, I do not know how long this is going, but this is a really good start for these. I really know that it can be too long to watch if we're not careful. Um, let's try to improve this. Oh, let's go back to this one just a tad. Let's give it a little bit of pink. We only want it to be very light. There we go. And we'll just, it'll just kind of li liven it up. I'm going to have to turn my paper because my hand is feeling wet, getting into the wet. See how we're just kind of making it a little bit livened up. And until we turn it over, I think you'll be able to see when we turn it over that this just added just a little more depth to this one. Didn't need a lot, but there we go. There we go. So I think this one's good. I think this one's almost there. I think this one's almost there. But we can work on these others, and they're too wet to work on. So we come back to where we are. Oh, right here, right here. These are lovely. Okay, what I'm going to do here for this guy is I'm going to... Just kind of make his petals work on the end of his petals because his petals aren't quite as pointed as I've made them here. And that will just allow us to bring some more color. Coming back in the middle here, giving a little definition right up to the center. And highlight those petals just a little bit on the sides. Started raining again here. In fact, it's almost pouring. Come 
that to you. I'm gonna bring a little bit of green for this lovely stem. And we're gonna go this way for this lovely stem. Okay, uh, gonna bring in just a little bit of color here. Doesn't have is it really needs some darker. That's a little darker. Um, and then we're gonna call this good. And you guys send me the ones that you draw, and I'll run by you some of these that are done when they're done. Oh, wait. The one thing I wanted to do is I wanted you to sign your work so that you won't forget. So we'll just go ahead and sign it. Um, I'm going to bring just a couple stems down with my pen that I can come back in and add the stems to. And I actually am going to daisy leaves. I can't remember what they are. They are not straight. Well, actually what I noticed in looking at these variety of daisies that the daisy leaves actually have quite a variety to them too. So um, I'll look those up and we'll add some leaves to it too. Okay, happy painting daisies guys. Enjoy and send me your pictures. Love ya. Bye-bye.